For Father's Day, here's the story of a dad who didn't have a dad who's becoming a dad to many. For the Colson Center, I'm John Stone Street. This is Breakpoint. In a YouTube video produced by a friend who leads the Christian youth organization Linkier, dozens of students line up for a foot race to win a $100 bill. But before they begin, the leader informs them that they won't each start from the same place. He then reads a series of statements and tells everyone to whom the statements apply to take two steps forward. The very first statement, your mom and dad are still married. Second statement, you grew up with a father figure in the home. And then there are many others. By the time he's finished, some students in the group are mere feet from the finish line. Others, they haven't moved at all. They're still at the starting line, looking frustrated and hopeless. The message is clear and it's profound. Everyone runs the race of life. Some people have more help than others. We're currently in a cultural moment where all of the emphasis is on white privilege. And as a white man, I fully admit that while I've worked hard to be where I'm at, I've enjoyed more than a few helping hands and more than a few get-out-of-jail-free cards that many others have not. Often our culture has a backwards way of addressing inequality like this, as Dr. Glenn Sunshine recently pointed out on the Theology podcast. Opportunities should not be removed from those who have them. They should be given to those who don't. At the same time, this video reveals what we know to be true from mountains and mountains and mountains of research. The most powerful head starts that any child can have is being raised in a home with married mom and dad. That remains the single most consistent and accurate indicator of a child's long-term success. Rob Kinney, however, did not have that head start. This newly minted YouTube celebrity with three grown children children of his own had a father who walked out on him when he was 14. He was unsure of where to go, so he moved in with his older brother and slowly learned the skills that his dad wasn't there to teach him. Well, realizing now all that he missed, Kenny started a YouTube channel to teach skills to young people who don't have dads in their life. As my Tennessee friend might put it, he's not teaching rocket surgery. The videos are about things dads typically teach their sons and daughters. How to tie a tie, how to change a tire, how to unclog a sink, how to shave, how to hang a shelf. Kenny named his YouTube channel, Dad, How Do I... And when his son, apparently aware of and willing to share the blessings that he's enjoyed by having such a great father, posted a link to his dad's channel on a photo sharing site, well, it exploded. In just two months, the channel has over 2 million subscribers. According to Kenny, the response to the channel has been overwhelming, and not just from a huge number of clicks and eyeballs. The comments that people leave on his videos thanking him for the channel are both heartbreaking and heartwarming all at the same time. Both young men and young women have told him that his videos were filling a void their absent fathers left behind, and not just the how-to tips. They thank Kenny for his understanding and his affirmation. They thank him for the way he frequently tells viewers words they've never heard, like, I'm proud of you. They even thank him for the corny dad jokes. Thank you for being the dad I never had, wrote one. God bless you, sir, said another, adding how he'd learned that just because you don't have a good dad doesn't mean you can't be one. Someone's got to break the pattern, he wrote. And another observed, sir, you've unwittingly adopted the entire Internet. Well, Kenny's blown away, but he's still humble. I don't always do everything right with my kids, he admits, but then recognizes, as Intellectual Takeout did when they broke the story about his channel, that America has a devastating fatherless ache. The pain's pretty real in our world, said Kenny, and hopefully this will help alleviate some of it. Now, I hope Kenny's idea goes viral, well beyond YouTube and well beyond the Internet. I pray that this story of a dad that's making how-to videos can remind us all of the central, irreplaceable value of fathers and inspire other men to act as fathers to the fatherless. After all, our response to the head start that kids with loving dads have shouldn't be, hey, that's not fair. Instead, it should be, everybody should have that too. And if the church today is going to be effective in binding up the wounds in our broken culture, it's going to have to model and pass on the love of our Heavenly Father, specifically for the fatherless. Maybe it's just as simple as being there to answer a question like, hey, Dad, how do I? For Breakpoint, I'm John Stone Street.